Hey, this is Nat, and we're off our couch in Navarre Beach, Florida, within the Florida Panhandle, just 25 miles east of Pensacola and about 22 miles west of Destin. Uh, we've been in Pensacola for the past few videos. If you've been joining us for those adventures in Pensacola, thank you for getting out the couch with us. And if you're new to our channel, welcome and welcome all to Navarre Beach, our next stop and focus here in the Florida Panhandle. Uh, this is just our second visit to Navarre Beach, and Navarre Beach is known as Florida's most relaxing place and we will do some relaxing of course um, but we have a lot more to do as well here in Navarre Beach and Navarre so we're gonna go beyond the beach too and we're gonna cover six fun relaxing educational beautiful and tasty things to do here and as we explore these six spots along the way we'll talk discounts as well since our aim is always to save you money and time and to make your travels easier and we still have more to check out in the Florida Panhandle uh, so be sure to subscribe keep getting up the couch with us please and on to stop number one uh, on our list of six and stop number one is pretty obvious uh the pier in the beach uh let's go ahead and start relaxing uh even though we're just getting started <laughs> we really haven't even done anything yet uh, but that's okay because if you only have time to do one thing here in the var beach uh, you have to spend time on this glorious beach uh and walk the pier too it's like a two for one combo uh the sand here on the entire gulf really uh, it's just beautiful it's so soft and it's a sugar white sand in the water all oh, this water is so so beautiful we will return to the beach in a bit uh, first let's walk and talk about this pier on Navarre Beach is the Navarre Beach fishing pier uh, it is the longest pier in the Gulf of Mexico as well as the longest pier in Florida to walk the pier there is a dollar charge for adults and children six years and older children five and under are free uh, you can fish from the pier as well well, there is a small gift shop where you purchase your tickets to walk the pier and to fish as well. Wind Jammers on the pier, a restaurant and bar, offers magnificent views of the beach and the Gulf of Mexico. The pier stands 30 feet above the water and stretches 1,545 feet long. And we did a video detailing our walk on the longest pier in Florida already. And I'll include that video link in the description box if you'd like to check that out. There are multiple entrances to the beach and we thought we'd do something different this visit and check out another entrance uh, to see if we can get a little more secluded compared to the main entrance uh, where the pier, restaurant, and gift shop are located. Uh, we are here in the all season though, late November, uh, so it's already pretty empty and spacious. But London wanted to see how empty, how isolated, how alone we could get. Alone is good sometimes. Um, all the time we're surrounded by this, I believe. Uh, just so beautiful. Um, the water is just sparkling under the sun. Uh, it is chilly outside today, yet the sun is still out and it's just beautiful on the water. Uh, the perfect place to relax, right? We'll go ahead and leave the beach for now, um, but we're not going to move too far away as we explore our second fun and educational thing to experience here in Navarre Beach, the Navarre Beach Sea Turtle Conservation Center. The center's mission is to protect threatened and endangered sea turtles through community education and partner research. The sea turtles that are rescued are cared for by Gulfarium Marine Adventure Park, uh, which is located in Fort Walton Beach, which is not far from here at all. Gulfarium is somewhere else that we've been wanting to visit here in the Panhandle uh, hopefully really soon. Outside of the Conservation Center though um, there are games, puzzles, and a few residents of the Navarre Beach Sea Turtle Conservation Center. And inside is Sweet Pea, a green sea turtle deemed unreleasable um, due to her injuries. Um, the entanglement um, that she was found in um, by the fishing line caused injuries externally and also internally. Uh, Sweet Pea has even had a flipper amputated uh, and still swims and gets around really well and it's expected to grow to full adult size. This center offers information to accentuate the impact pollution and litter has on the environment. You can walk around the center rather quickly uh, but there's so much information, lots of visuals and beautiful fish to gaze at. The center really draws you in and you'll most likely find yourself on um, taking your time and really processing every inch of the center. 
There is also a gift shop where you can purchase mementos of your trip, as well as make donations um, toward the rescue of sea turtles and the rehabilitation of sea turtles. Just recently, there were storms in Florida causing damage to some areas, including damaging some of the facilities and equipment of the Sea Turtle Conservation Center. So donations are being accepted to help with the rebuilding process. And I will have the website link in the description box um, for information on how to donate, as well as information on their hours and admission discounts for senior military and first responders. Now, if you do find yourself in Navarre Beach during the evening hours and with a serious sweet tooth, uh, you may want to head over to Spring Hill Suites in Navarre Beach for our third tasty and fun thing to do, well, eat, at Whitecaps Suites and Treats. Whitecaps Suites and Treats is located in the lobby of the Marriott Spring Hill Suites. Um, Whitecaps is a milkshake bar. They do have sandwiches and other goodies on the menu. I think it's safe to say, though, that the extreme milkshakes at Whitecaps are the highest highlight here. Um, these milkshakes have so many layers of flavor and so many toppings. Um, toppings though isn't really even an appropriate word. It's kind of like dessert on top of even more dessert. <laughs> it's definitely shareable. The challenge will be choosing one of their unique gargantuan ultimate milkshakes from the menu because the milkshake bar offers such a variety of flavors. It's difficult, at least for us, to settle on a choice to please the taste buds for all of us. Yet somehow we did figure it out. <laughs> Our milkshake pretty much has it all, salty, sweet, and rich. If you're visiting Whitecaps during the off season, unlike we are, it's late November, as I said earlier, I recommend calling ahead to check for operating hours. Hours do fluctuate during non-peak time periods. We are still by the beach for our next stop, stop number four. And for our fourth fun and beautiful thing to do while in Navarre Beach, um, that would be to take the scenic drive from Navarre Beach, passing through the Gulf Islands National Seashore to Pensacola Beach. The Gulf Islands National Seashore is the longest section of federally protected seashore in the United States. What's unique about this shoreline is that it's located in Florida and Mississippi, two states that do not even border each other. Uh, the Florida section of the Gulf Islands National Seashore includes Fort Pickens and Fort Barrancas in Pensacola, the Naval Life Oaks Trail, the Okaloosa area, and the Santa Rosa area. The stretch that we are on um, runs along the Santa Rosa area, and right now we are at Opal Beach. There are parts of this area that require an entrance fee and parts that do not, if I'm understanding correctly. If you do stop at one of the areas requiring an entrance fee, entrance fees are available per person and per vehicle. Vehicle, and they are good for seven days. There are also annual passes and some of these annual passes are free. Uh, for example, military veterans and Gold Star families are eligible for lifetime annual passes that are free. Members of the U.S. military are eligible also for free annual passes as well as fourth graders. And there are other free annual passes available and I will include the link to the website in the description box for all of the details. If you're on this scenic drive um, and you can take the time to stop, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, these beaches are just spacious and pristine. As much as I hate to do it, uh, we'll have to walk away from the beach once again. Uh, great news though, we do have more food to enjoy as we venture into the city of Navarre and stop in at Navarre Bakery and Creamery for our number five tasty thing to do here in Navarre. Navarre Bakery and Creamery serves a variety of delicious treats, cookies, cakes, and pies, as well as lunch options. Uh, London's Donut Radar is on, so of course we're picking up donuts, and we have quite an attractive array of donuts to enjoy um, despite the fact that the cases um, are nearly emptied um, by our fellow donut connoisseurs. Uh, this is a holiday and Christmas donut here, um, definitely putting us in a jolly mood. The little green and red candies, I don't recall their official name. Anyways, the little candies that are being used as a topping on a donut are not only cute, but it adds a wonderful crunch to this tasty fresh donut. We also have a German chocolate donut. The chocolate on this donut is so divine. 
wine um, and a red velvet donut we just love the taste of the bread with these donuts plus they're so soft and then the red velvet cake is crumbled on the donut so the cake is a topping um, a massive topping on this donut this is my first time seeing a red velvet donut like this it is so good and fulfilling I love it and we still have an apple fritter plus pastries um, this is new for us normally on our adventures um, we're just picking up donuts but since this is a bakery um, we have to try even more so now we have more than enough goodies to carry us on to our next stop uh, our final stop stop number six for a fun and educational thing to do here in Navarre and that is to visit the Emerald Coast Wildlife Refuge the Emerald Coast Wildlife Refuge is a nonprofit organization that rehabilitates sick, injured, and orphaned wildlife that are native to Florida. The refuge's aim is to release the animals that come under their care back into the wild. However, there are some cases where the animals are not suitable um, for being released, and they stay here at the 2.3 acre refuge to serve as ambassadors and help educate the public about biodiversity and native Florida wildlife. At the refuge, you have the chance to get really close to some animals that you normally wouldn't approach, <laughs> therefore learning a lot more about these creatures and their roles in nature. So not only do we we have the opportunity to pet an opossum we also have a chance to pet a gopher tortoise landlord uh, who was deemed unsuited for release after unfortunately being hit by a car gopher tortoises are keystone species uh, meaning that many animals rely on them for survival in this case over 360 species rely on burrows that gopher tortoises build for shelters our tour actually starts within the building where we learn about sea turtles and how important red light is for their nesting as well as their survival we learn about some of the animals they have successfully rehabilitated and released back into the wild um, like a turtle with an ear infection um, that caused it to look like um, they actually had two heads and most importantly we're reminded of how our actions can impact other creatures uh, this place is really cool there are a variety of animals to see here even a bear <laughs> this is a taxidermy mount of a black bear Albert from the Emerald Coast Zoo in Crestview Florida uh, I didn't know noticed the bear when I first walked in. I looked back at London and then I saw the bear and it kind of shocked me. <laughs> but it's another example of Florida native wildlife and the Emerald Coast Wildlife Refuge mission to educate the public. Donations are welcome to help support the mission. Uh, they do also have a gift shop and I'm picking up a sticker of Peggy the Opossum we got to hang out with as a keepsake. I really, really enjoyed this tour. Um, the kids enjoyed the tour, so did London. Um, we learned a lot and the staff here is just so passionate about their mission. Um, the care that they have for the animals and their enthusiasm is just infectious. Uh, it really does rub off. If you're in the Panhandle and in the Navarre area, I definitely recommend um, making a trip to the Emerald Coast Wildlife Refuge. There are discounts also um, on admission for military and seniors. And that ends our tour uh, around Navarre Beach and Navarre, checking out six fun, educational, stunning, and tasty things to do here. Uh, tell us, did you have a favorite? Is there a must-do from our list and let us know if you are planning a trip to Navarre and Navarre Beach in the future and if we missed anything um, definitely let us know tell us what are some fun beautiful tasty and or educational activities that you have planned for your trip we hate to be leaving Navarre Beach but we are still in the panhandle a new video comes out each and every Saturday and next video we visit the Florida Cavern State Park we're taking a tour through these incredible caves and learning all about these ancient and magnificent geological wonders and once we make it back to the surface we'll jump in the car to explore more of the trails springs and features of this massive park while being really careful to avoid any deer <laughs> the caves are amazing this park is amazing there's so much to see here so join us off the couch again please if you yet to subscribe subscribe you don't want to miss this next adventure and if you yet to subscribe to our monthly newsletter um, you don't want to miss that either the newsletter start going out this month the sign up link is in the description box and on our website at offourcouch.com. Our newsletter brings travel tips, inspiration, and helpful information right to your inbox. As always, thanks so much for joining us on these adventures here in Navarre and Navarre Beach. Thanks for getting out the couch with us once again. And thank you for all of the likes, comments, and shares. The feedback, suggestions, and recommendations are greatly appreciated as well. It all makes these adventures possible, so thank you. Until next video, click on the link to see another one of our experiences. Thanks for watching.